<coughs> Sarah Maris. Ibu kwa nungwa fibo. Nungwa fibo ke ibu Sarah. Sometimes, all the maka mwada ne emeife. Oneji, akon uche. Ne eme yon eme. If you don't want mother to me, you want to me, I say it all the time. I always say it. You see this life, there is nothing, practically nothing. We are nothing but pencil in the hand of our Creator. And what do you hear? No, no, wow. And what do you hear? No, no, wow. The way and the kind of post you made during this cambilitical passing, nem otrom nanya, otron yobula nanya. It was as if you were. It was. It's not. It was as if you were directly throwing shade at me. You were throwing shade at me. A woman that's lost, just lost her first child, her first baby. You didn't even feel it. Even if she's your worst enemy, even if she was your enemy, you forgot that the husband is also your friend. It's his son that passed. You went ahead, you made that insensitive comment. You made that insensitive comment. Even though you have, because I saw the video um, you made with Daddy Freeze as at yesterday. I don't know where that video was, but I felt it was between yesterday and two days ago. You made the video where Daddy Freeze was practically begging you. So, to so refrain from that statement, to so apologize to your fans that the timing of that statement and what you posted was very, very off. That even him, that the freeze, when he saw that post, he was shocked. He said, No. He said, No. That could not be. He, I know how many times I, I, I watched that video. I know how many times that the freeze tried to correct you, try to pinpoint what you did. But of course, of course, oh, beyond job now, too much pride. Then, where is he? Over bloated pride would not allow you to see the mistake you made in that post. Over bloated ego did not allow you to see the mistake you made in that post. That that post was an insensitive post. Can you hear me, Just tell me one thing that made it to you. You cannot even say this is what made it to you. The only thing made it to you people was no, I don't want to be a polygamist. You guys are forcing her to accept to be a to be in a polygamous relationship. Because your your conscience, the guilt you feel inside you, could not would not allow you. That is why you people are forcing me to accept to be a polygamist. That way, everybody will be fine. But now that me said no, I don't want to be a polygamist. That is the only thing that she did wrong to you people. Otherwise, can you want you run? Now her child passed, and the first thing you 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 went to post was, any man can be snatched. If you don't take good care of your man, you can be snatched. Know you fully where the whole thing that led to to why people are dragging you at Judy Austin. You did not even you were you were directly throwing shade at me. No matter how you how you put it, we are not stupid. You're not dealing with fools. You were directly throwing shade at me because a woman like you, if it was you marker, Saramatis, you brought no marker now. You are not an under seventeen, KJ under eighteen. No? I didn't know that you have you were you were even you were even married before. Sarah, you were married before. Ima the pain of being in a relationship that where you and your husband are having issues, you know the pain. You went ahead. 
all every time you come on air the way you have spoken about this judy austin and your edoche and may uh, situation you have always indirectly made it to look like may was the bad person in the whole thing because may was incompetent to be a good wife he was she was incompetent that was why you left her for another for judy you have indirectly said it countless times we are not stupid we see it who are you trying to fool i hear now that you are all over social media trying to sue people uh sarah maris if you want to sue somebody you should first sue yourself first and foremost sue yourself because you need to sue yourself yourself and yourself and yourself again and over and over and over again you need to sue yourself because the THE people know the first time you went under the phrase life these things you said the, I, I, I was like care relationship man now is there any relationship on the, that is so perfect there is no relationship that is that is perfect that is why why they have therapies that is why they go for therapy in case they are having issue you have uh, marriage counselors you have married this you have married that because they know that situations problems will always arise in, in relationship then when they have problem you are going to tell you people it was judy this of course anytime any man wants to stray anytime any man wants to go astray anytime any man wants to go and have side chick he will always present an issue that's not that will not be big deal if man one go start today uh, uh, push, push outside. If man wants her to go there, uh, do 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 the do outside. He will always tell the second woman all the bad things that the wife did. Man, the way you go, man, the way I see you, the man will say it. That one is certain. So if y'all has come to you people, which is the basis of what you're saying to tell you that is because uh, May is this, May is not doing that, May is 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 what is expected of men to say. Because of course they will tell you a story for you to allow them have way. They will always tell you that my husband, my wife is not a good person. That is why I am coming to you. That one is certain, oh bro. That one is is certain. So for you to come up on air and be saying the things you say about me, eh? Nemo, it is possible to sue yourself. You're supposed to sue yourself before you look for somebody to go and sue. It, it, that is there. Uh, you see, the, what even annoyed me in this whole thing was the fact that when that post came up, your best friend, if not that, if Yabruna or Bruna on Wuma to you and Judy Bundi Obiojo, if not that, now you and Judy are, are best of a feather. When you made that post, Judy would have come to you to tell Judy cannot tell me that the really lad drag Sarah on this social media that she was not aware of her about that post. Judy, if she, Judy was a good person, what she would have gone told you was one name Bika Yok and Nayok put down that post for my sake. I don't want people to misunderstand this. This post is gonna send another chain reaction. Put that post down. She did not say anything because she are uh, her mouthpiece. She did not say anything because you are her mouthpiece. It's what she wanted to say that you helped her say. That was why she didn't say anything about that post. Because if she was a good person, the first time she saw that post, she would have come to you to tell you, Sarah, because one name, because people know that post. That people, Nigerians, are going to see that post and read different meanings to it, and they will drag me into this issue. Please put down that post. Not now. This is a sensitive time. Put that post down your best friend could not advise you on that you see sarah you know why i'm saying all these things you know why i'm saying all these things you are a young woman a beautiful one at that i know most times women will say eh i don't need a man i don't need a man what is the man going to do for me i don't care i don't need a man you don't need a man but the person you are with now is another woman's husband that is you are sleeping with that is what women women will tell you i don't need a man i don't what am i going to do with a man i'm okay with my life you're okay with your life but you are sleeping with another woman's husband and you're lying and they will come on air and come and lie that they don't need a man and deceive who they want to deceive sarah what i'm saying is this there is a man out there that is watching you that might be liking you 
But you see some of your characters you put up there will scare men away because every human being every man will look at you and be like this woman that is as that is this insensitive to another woman's pain if i marry her it's going to be a problem for me oh and how they might sleep with you they might take you to bed they might do whatever they want to do with you but they will never marry you i know people you people women will come and say who cares about marriage it's a lie you care it's a lie you care they will say who cares I don't want to be married. I am contented. Men is not. It's a lie. It's a lie. Because you have not seen any man that has put ring in your finger. You have not seen any man that is ready to put you to, to marry you. That is why you are saying all these things. It's a lie. You need a man. You need a man. As, far, as a matter of fact, you they use touch, they find man, they walk up and down where you want to marry you. You need a man. So stop deceiving whom you're deceiving. So Sarah. I'm just giving you an advice, my sister. You see this Judy Austin matter where you carry poo for your head. Don't allow it drown you. You see this Judy Austin matter where you carry poo for your head. You see it. Hmm. Fight the fight that is meant for you. Fight the fight that is meant for you. Don't go and put yourself into Wahala. In an Yenna Wagi Seramaris. In here, I look at you as a beautiful young lady. Don't, don't go and buy markets. Judy has made a path for herself. Let her deal with it. You look for your own path. For the fact that both of you are friends does not mean you have to carry her fight on your head. I just, it's an advice. It's an advice, except no, no, my in here. Now, except you guys know where, uh, maybe get with the whole two of them together, which I don't know, but this is an advice I want to give to you. Thank you.